I need to see what this last matchup, right? They've burned through all of their reserve <laughs> yeah. time. They've taken a long ass time to make these last two and they picks and bans come. They voice great. great. The, the other troubling thing, which I think limited their hero options, was you're laning against Quop. Like all these heroes mm -hmm. that can maybe jump the back lines, half of them you don't, just can't play into Quop. Okay, it seems like his lane going just fine. And for the drought, Roger. as a result, free farm. Roger this time, yeah, you mentioned he's only got the one spirit siphon, so they found the opening to get that kill. As a result, it is the, the other cores on Boom that are suffering, right? Like this yeah. this mid matchup, Queen of Pain against the Void Spirit, it's always going to be quite favored. I've seen a couple of times where the Dissimulate actually wasn't used for the, uh, the Shadow Strike. Afu just constantly on his Shaker, lingering around, but Skem is there to punish this, and with a haste rune on Yopash's Void Spirit, you've got to imagine they might be able to get this kill on Afu. He's going to throw out a Fissure to try and get himself out of here, but Yopaj. Chasing with the Astral Strap has a remnant that he's holding on to for now, and Afu. This is... Yeah. Missed the remnant, but hit him with the Dissimulate. The, the Drow Ranger's gonna respawn. She's got the Dragon Lance. You've nearly reached level, uh, sorry, the 10 minute mark. Probably enough to give the, yep. the Tome of Knowledge over to the DP. Yeah, Drow TP's mid. They want this here on mid tower. Yopaj is gonna get charged and Sonic Wave brought down as the multi shot coming out, bringing Skemlo as well. Will they be able to chase him off? And with the Nether Strike, it looks like they'll get the Skem kill. The Dusa Boom have rotated in numbers. Yeah, they, they want to keep this tower alive, and Deuce is the perfect hero to do that with. Mid one gets bailed up by a Fissure, as well as a charge to follow it up. He gets kept alive, but oh, he goes back in and gets gushed. He could have lived, but he got a bit greedy. I don't think he expected the three points in gush there, or he would have probably just ran and hid. Jackie now alone to defend this tower, and he is in a bit of trouble here. Luckily, gets a nice big six snake off to heal himself back up. Buyback from the Titan, who does have all six, will TP in. Can he find a Ravage in time? He throws it out. Jackie's still alive, still standing. He will end up going down. Raging Potato got the charge damage off just barely in time. Tim's wants this kill, and he'll have a gush in about five seconds before the charge comes back up, or potentially a Skem Brain Sap. Skem gonna look to drag this wave here. There's the gush. Anchor Smash may be needed, but they've got the Brain Sap to finish it off. Think of getting rid of the bulldoze, considering that uh, you know it is a core spirit breaker. Into the top room, picks up the invis room, but he's been stunned oh, up. But here boom. comes Afu, Echo, and a Sonic Wave. The Ravage comes, but it's too late for Boom. They've already been boomed here in the top river. FBZ, ooh, time lapse off just in time, but the charge is on him, so he's going to probably get chased down here. Afu does die. It's a two for two trade so far, so not the worst exchange for Boom, despite how bad it looked with that Afu Echo Slam. He didn't have an excellent game because you don't disable that marksmanship, you've got nothing. Here we go. SMG think they can sneak a Roshan, but Boom have made their way over with the smoke and they've already sniped Afu. And the grip coming out on Roger as well does get cancelled by a charge. Tim's needs to get this Ravage off, but he gets Roshan before he can do so. The Sonic Wave stopping it. FBZ in the middle gets Echo Slam to prevent the time left. Boom have lost three with the buyback from Afu, but he is going to die again. Jackie making sure they get some of these kills here. On the front lines is Yopaj. He's got no Astral Step left. Does have a Yule Step. He had the Yule Step by the charge. Yeah, he didn't have vision perhaps of the Spirit Breaker coming in. So That's where Yopaj is, but no great way to kill him off. Medusa TPing in here uh, in the trees. Finishes the TP. In yeah, into five heroes. And they protect her here. Bane Skem Sing behind has the defensive nightmare. That buys Jackie some time. Does have the Stone Gaze, which he's holding onto, but he's a bit low on mana here. But the Snake coming low. back. We'll heal him back up and they get the first kill in mid one and after going down as well. Roger. They've got Ryan and SMG are just dropping like flies. Ravage captures out absolutely everyone that's left standing. And Queen of Pain being pulled back in. Mid one can only BKB TP out. It's coming through here and it's going to end up costing him a tier two. There's like some carries that are known for diving, like, you know, your PAs and like maybe a Phantom Lancer where you've got illusions. Drow Ranger is probably at the bottom of the list of carries when you <laughs> yeah. think diving towers. That's why I was feeling so strong about this draft. Is it's the nightmare? Oh, Blink, Blink Ravage. Ravage on three. Yopaz falls up with some good damage to finish off Arthur, which means no Shaker once again. Mid one's just trying to BKB and run. He may take out Tim's on the retreat. Nice Stone Gaze committed from the Medusa with a grip from the high ground. There's nothing to cancel it. Roger's silence was on cooldown. And I think now he's going to find himself being chased down as well. Nightmare is maybe in range here. Shut up this Ghost Scepter. He's damn close. And. He just needs a tiny bit more gold to be able to... Oh, not if Jackie finds it. <laughs> Three gold. Buy it quick. Spam it. He's got the gold. There we go. He buys it. 
Harry, you better give me that one. <laughs> yeah. You won't last long around here. <laughs> oh, Jackie moon. in the middle, I think. Yep, Moon gets off the BKB, though. And they've managed to change on Yoka. She actually goes down there. The Dusa, they can't really deal with the Dusa in terms of fighting her, but they're just ignoring her for the most part. Problem is, the grip has come out onto the mid one jar range. Did the charge come, but it's too little too late to save the Drow at least. Gets the kill on the Bane, but Raging Potato could be next in the firing line as Jackie's got himself a double kill. Moon left standing, and I don't think they've got the control to finish him off, but it's a BKB to be safe. Blink TP out, so making sure. Now, at this point, he's already down to that six second BKB, so the cooldown matters, but Yopaj. Getting a Shaker kill. Ooh. The Shaker was yeah. 2k gold. He was so close to his blink. Yeah, still blinkless. They're trying to make that space for him, but it's just, it feels so late at this stage of the game. 30 minutes, anyone could pick you off. Yeah, and Roger's feeling that all too well. Wherever he, anytime he leaves the base, he's getting picked. Eight deaths now to his name, but it's both SMG supports who are just really having a rough time. Mid lane Moon needs to be careful not to get gripped up, but there's the Bane Skim. Finds the real one despite the illusion rune. And knock at the SMG door. Does get hit by a charge and push it in the base a little bit, but with Aegis in hand for another two minutes, he is more than okay to just hold his ground here on the high ground. Has the Ag Scepter too, so he's able to kind of get brought down low though. They take out his first life. Yopa is jumping in to force the mid one BKB on his Drow Ranger. Producer with the Stone Gaze can just use that to disengage if needed. And it looks like a lot of firepower is used from the SMG side. So they're being pushed back without a Queen of Pain. Nice oh, ravage on to three. Catches a couple right at the edge. And Jackie's able to take advantage of that to clean up both mid one and Roger. Ready. It's going to be SMG who's going to be looking for a place to hide. And I don't think any Shadow Amulet's going to help you here. Boom. Get the tier four tower. And now the throne exposed. Bop does smoking. have a buyback here, which they may just have to use. There we go, they commit it with the smoke here on the front lines is Raging Potato and he goes down before he can use a spell really. Jackie's They're trying still to bait just looking. him for Afu. Yeah. They need to deal with Jackie. He's just this unpenetrable wall in the front lines that they just can't burst through. And no one's grouping up next to him for an Echo Slam here, so Afu's just throwing out stuns. They are chipping at him, they're getting him kinda low here, but the time lapse is there. Sonic Wave comes out, but to no avail. Roger's exorcism is kind of just tickling at boom and it feels like it's too little, too late. Nice-ish Echo Slam, but once again, it's tickling. Tim's the same with the Ravage, and it's game over. Game one going to go the way of Boom Esports. Very, very nice. Uh, well, I've got, at least in my opinion, the first execution game that's <laughs> coming through here for Boom. It just, uh, it felt like they... Through it. That was oh, a boy. really cool play by Jackie. You getting the reflection early on, realizing that you hadn't revealed on all of the heroes in the lane just yet. So, oh, actually, well, this might not be as great a play if he goes yeah. down. He did the hard part, which was avoid that initial gank at level one. Well, well he's still level one, but the initial gank, he's going to go down to the second one. He's just using the first one here. So that was get caught by the cookie, but with a metamorphosis and the slow from the reflection, Afu in some trouble. That's going to be a kill. Going Skem's way, not Jackie's, but, you know, any kills top, that's that's money for Jackie, because that's the Skem, he's going to be buying some salves and... Let's give vision for Jackie to start getting some of those right clicks onto him for free. Down bottom, bottom though. Mid one. Yeah, mid one's overextended a little bit, gets caught out. He only died the one time very early on, but he's not gotten much for him. Top lane, meanwhile. Afu is going to find himself getting rotated on. Ember Spirit there, Moon is able to clean up at least one of these kills. So it's a one-to-one -one trade so far, Moon... Still has remnants if he wants to play around them. Has the good damage from the side of Fist, and he's just going to remnant away back to safe. Make the, the move to defend it, and as a result, they're going to be a little bit vulnerable because of this. Rage Potato could be caught in some trouble here. Inside the Kinetic Field with the Static Storm on top of him. The Rolling Thunder going to come through as well. If he had some back backup, he might go for a Ravage, but he's all alone. And he might be. They're pinging in the trees. Coming down here, hunting for the TB. Jackie... Smoke gonna pop here. Afu knows he's nearby. The kiss is now gonna be used as well. They found the TB, and without a Manta style, he gets rooted up, ravaged as well, just to make sure he doesn't use a Sunder. Perhaps a bit overkill, but I suppose the, the main counter to that is that FBZ, he's the one with the Lincoln Sphere. So, oh, oh, nice blink ravage. Gets blink ravage. Cookie follow up. Can he get off the Rolling Thunder? He's trying to swashbuckle his way out of there, but he gets caught by the Rupture Inker Smashdown. 
Kiss is coming in now as well, but Yopash has a BKB on his Batrider, so he's going to be able to bring down at least Roger. Not sure he can do too much more because the minus armor and the physical damage is just weren't able to get themselves in the Roshan pit following that. And they've got no Ravage for quite some time, so it does feel like Boom are posturing to take another fight. And they've got all their big ultimates here. Rune coming out, and they're looking to fight this, but they're Rupture just caught Yopage. in the meat grinder. Moon and mid one just eat Tim's and FBZ alive. And with the rupture on Yopaj, he's forced to BKB, but he's got no TP. That rupture's still on him for a little bit longer. There's some good damage here. It finally wears off, and with we the dragged him out. Eat. Yep, pulls him out. Is he going to die to this? The damage over time, the Thunderstrike, it's going to barely be enough. Skem gets the kill in the end. Indeed, Slider Fist is there with the Searing Chains. Can you push him away with the Flame Break? It's not going to be enough with the BKB from Moon. SMG. Diving up in Boom's base, going for these kills Jackie and getting dived as well. Mid one, yeah, doesn't have a Sunder. He's already used it. He is BKB and Metamorph, but he's got to run away. And mid one, he's gone down though in the process. So they do get the TP kill, but they're dropping like flies elsewhere. Moon, unfortunately, out of mana himself though, without bottle charges, he may just die to a Weaver. He needs help, and he doesn't really have much coming. If anything, there's more enemies on the way. Oh, FTC miss misses the swashbuckle, but the Rolling Thunder should be there to finish off this kill. Remnant coming up. Moon, he's got the mana, but the oh, Weaver coming in. Shikuchi damage. It's going to be FBZ with the swashbuckle. Absolutely chaotic fight happening. Yeah, and that's maybe something SMG realizes that without that Rolling Thunder, oh, this Roach is a lot safer, but Static Storm catches up four inside the kinetic field as well. Yopaj on top, the Ravage to kind of counter this one. Jackie doesn't have the BKB in time, but now he gets it off afterwards, and with the Lasso coming into play, they're just getting eaten alive in this Roshan pit. They tip Scam. And oh boy, what a disaster for SMG. Top side. Yeah. Both teams kind of playing keep away, but Boom suggesting they may want to defend this top lane. They've smoked up and FBZ has the blink to go with the Lincoln Sphere. So he can initiate in with that Rolling Thunder and he's going to do just that. They break the Lincolns on mid one. They get the Lasso to follow it up and he got the BKB off. So the Rolling Thunder not doing anything, at least onto the Drow Ranger. Attempted TP out from mid one, but is the damage there? They've got the kill with the TB. Mid one thought he could make it out, but he thought wrong. Tide refreshes, goes for a second Ravage here. They're looking to turn this one with the kisses and Moon is in with the BKB. They're doing too much damage to the Boom side. Even with the dead Drow Ranger, it's the rest of the SMG squad who is just eating Boom alive. fbz has got the roll up. Will Swashbuckle to the high ground. So when Roche respawns, to be able to either take it or contest it. We see in uh, Eastern Europe, I believe, that Yatoro, whenever he plays the Drow Ranger game, oh, got a pick BKB off on. Lasso, yep. Just the support Snapfire, but Boom showing they happy to go on even the support here. They had to work a little bit harder for it, but they do still get it. Not done yet, Let's though. Rolling bit. Thunder, yeah. FBZ's just going on the back lines. He's got himself a solo kill, essentially. He will get Ravage here. Raging Potato wants to punish FBZ. It's a pretty big kill. Is it worth a Ravage when you go to refresh? Or he's thinking the answer is yes. He's going to instantly refresh here as they go charging in onto Skem out from Radiant side. They do know Boom is kind of coming their way. They even scan the rune, so they, I think, realize what's going on here. Moon is going to go for this Thunderless. He gets caught. Initiated on by FBC's Rolling Thunder. They chain stun him with the lasso follow-up, and they even scanned. They had an idea that Boom were there. The spider legs from FBC gets him out of the cliff. He uses oh, it as well, just to make sure he doesn't die to the kisses. Oh. There's a static storm to stop it. He does end up going down. The mid one right clicks hit hard, but the BKB terrible on the front lines. Jackie gets... Actually, he's getting chopped at. The Jar Ranger is doing a lot of damage. He tries to get his way out of that with the Manta Star, but he can't sunder anyone. They lose Weaver as well. And with the buyback from Moon, it's Boom who are getting absolutely annihilated. They lose four off of a Moon buyback and mid one showing up to the fight. It feels like they're constantly trying to get the back lines on the Drow, but mid one is just positioning too well. Perhaps the FBZ Rolling Thunder is going to look to turn the tides here. They're going to find just the Bloodseeker. That's not enough. They need more. And mid one would be a great find if they can get it, but he gets the Shadow Blade away. As FBZ's Rolling Thunder unable to kind of stay on top of him. And now that Rolling Thunder's down, Moon wants to jump in. He's looking to dive. Mantis all out of the, the, the roof coming in from Jackie, but his TB is in trouble with the Drow Ranger. Just trying to deal with oh. him. The BKB comes out. He finds a Sunder. Roger goes down. Nice Sunder. They've got fight. the lasso. Drow Ranger in trouble. No marksmanship. He's trapped in the kinetic oh, field as well. He needs a way out. He hasn't got it, but then TP is getting low. The Drow Ranger does take a spill. The entire SMG side is just falling, TP's dropping one low. by one like flies. Moon, though, he's the last man standing on the SMG side, and he is doing a lot of damage here, but he's got to deal with multiple heroes. FPC, roll up. Still alive for now. Swashbuckle away. He's still with a Yule Scepter with the Disarm and the Silence. Coming onto the Ember. He's out of mind. He's got no remnants. He, Moon is dead for. Four dead, only Roger alive. He's so fast with everyone so low. 
the uh, house so close to this mid lane. 25 to oh, whoa, Ravage. They've gone in, they've caught FBZ. He tries to swash away, but the Bloodseeker makes sure they get the kill with the rupture. And I don't think Boom want to fight without him, but the problem is Moon's going to force a fight. They found him. Yep. And that's the Skem Disruptor, the hero of so many of these team fights. They're maybe not done. Pa Jackie probably just needs to BKB TP out, yeah. Oh, big win for Boom. Got... Big win. Yeah. That racks one more whack. Straight onto the bottom side, testing if this Disruptor has the buyback available. They've got double Ravage. Raging Potato's just going to plop himself on the front lines here, and Moon is not ignoring the front lines. He's going on the back lines. He's, he's looking to deal with some of these supports, and FBZ is taking so much damage. He does get a roll himself up, but he's being into the, the Fountain. Is the damage from the Fountain going to be enough for the Rolling Thunder's done to fold up? He does run it away in the end. Got the save on him to himself, and the Rolling Thunder now onto the Titan. He's going to try to Wind Waker himself but out of there. The but space. meanwhile, it's, yeah, it's Megas. Meanwhile, just like, thanks. I'll happily just take your base. Moon doing everything he can to just create a world of room for his teammates. Static Storm is completely off the mark as Moon's running with the BKB. Refreshes as well. He wants Skem, who's just sitting there on the Shadow Amulet. They don't have detection, but it doesn't matter. Too much damage, including the multi-shot to finish him off. Ravage now onto the back lines. Catches that too, but the time lapse helps Jackie out. Buys him the time to get some of the some of his spells off. He's metamorphed up. He needs a Sunder target, but he can't use it in time. Mid one kills him before he can even think of Sundering because of his BKB. And SMG with TB dead, I believe they may just cinch this game. There's no lasso. Yeah. There's no pullback in the fountain. Three seconds and lasso's back up. Perhaps that's the last hope here for Boom. They go in with the Rolling Thunder on FBZ. Looking around as Yopaz trying to figure out who the target's going to be for the lasso. He missed they the get the... Yeah. Oh, he didn't get the Drow Ranger. And as a result, now he's in a world of pain. Moon and Roger just charging forward and FBZ is going to watch his base fall as Boom are going to find themselves in a Game 3 decider. SMG, a team that so many people just kind of counted out. Giving him those early earn charges. At the same time, I'm sure Boom would love to find an opening to get a kill up here so they can get that extra bit of damage from Earn Charges himself. Tims, duking out with mid one and Roger. The Avalanche is going to finish him off. First Blood actually goes the way of SMG. But if F if FBZ can get a return kill, they'll probably be okay with this exchange. He hasn't been tossed back underneath the tower yet, but FBZ will need to be careful of that if he continues to push this lane up like he has been. And he's a bit low on mana. Mid one, Axie may be in some trouble here. Second Earn Charge? Yep. yep, there we go. Uses it offensively. That's why those earn charges are so important. And uh, careful about we... spending too much time in the jungle, though. Mid lane yeah. is starting to get pushed in a little bit. Bottom lane, they go for a nether strike. Inks will follow up on the nether strike as well. Skem getting low, but he's got the spirit. one last spirit siphon to try and heal himself back up. And it looks like Skem will be okay with the salve, but note the charge under the tower. They want to get this kill, but Raging Potato is going to die for it. Not sure if that one is worth it. Definitely want to, don't want to be giving a lot of this uh, free net worth over to Jackie. He's uh, already at the top of the net worth lane. charts. We've got caught in this mid lane here. It's Tim's, but he's yeah. going to be able to get away. Yeah, and Roger on the Bane, not level 6. There's no Fiend's Grip. They're going in on Moon, but Ember thinks better of it. Doesn't want to, you know, die for this one. Has another side of Fist. He's going to finish off the Bane. Has a Fire Remnant to kind of get him escape his way too. And he's going to get the kill on the way out. Result. SMG disengaged, but they've only got three heroes on the boom side. Roger's looking for a fiend script here, but Tim's on the high ground. Gets the bugs out. They know they can't let Roger get off a good fiend script. They've got to try and kill him first, but Skem taking a lot of damage from the kisses. Does get the Yule Scepter up in the air, so that keeps him alive for a little bit longer, but he still can't si siphon his way through this. Tim's on the back line once, Raging Potato, but he gets Netherstruck here, and mid one does end up going down. Really well played. The Infest giving a little bit of heal as well as they get a third kill in this fight. They're looking Moon. for Apu. They may even get all five here. Moon, the big kill if they can get it. He's going for the TP out, but they've got the Searing Chains to cancel it. It's a full team wipe. As fire and a tiny at this stage of the game seems pretty damn effective, especially when you're a Death Prophet with tons of survivability. They smoke up mid. Does mid one that. does go into Invis. They're going to need some detection here. They get the Atos with the Sentry Ward. They want to go on this tiny nice silence on a two, but the follow-up damage just isn't quite there. Mid one's managed to get back to the safety of his tier two tower. Cookie to wait as well, so they've committed a lot for this one. Raging Potato's actually going to go in on the offensive. Goes on skin with another strike. That's a death profit down. <laughs> able to get the magic wand. Some of those spirit siphons. Oh, that keeps it going. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what Roger was thinking going up to the high ground by himself, but he gets punished for it and the follow-up kills are maybe stun. coming their way. There's potential for mid one to turn this one around. Gets the avalanche toss on absolutely everybody, but the life stealer infest with a little bit of heal comes out and he's looking to turn this fight for Boom Esports. Mid one goes down and they're not done just yet. Afu knows his fate, so he tries to throw his body at the wolves with an ink spell stun, but it's not enough as the Atos also going to catch Raging Potato. They probably just didn't want to dive in so deep as well. And here comes Jackie leading the charge with an Aegis in hand. There's just nothing to do with this life steal. And once again, it's poor, poor Roger throwing his life, lines. perhaps for the greater good. But with the back lines being caught here, Yopaj, he gets stunned up, but he's still chasing and looking for more. I'll get, at least get Afu and Yopaj maybe thinking they can get another kill here. Raging Potato's been dusted up. He's trying to charge his way out of this. Ghost charges the mid lane, but Yopaj is Tim's hunting. Is already he's there. He's TPing yep. around to try and chase him. Atos, uh, I think they've got him. Another Searing Change will be there in a second. They've got the Yule Scepter to stop the Bulldoze away. And there's the Searing Chains. Another Infest Bob going here with Yopaj. Has to yep. be careful though. Done this a few times here. He goes remnant in to start this fight. Pops the BKB. They need to get the detection no on mid one who just goes in the invis and they are going to look to turn this one around. Life still getting so low. Jackie, he needs to try finding a way to life still's way through this one with the beast. He's almost surviving and it's working. Jackie has lived through it all. He does end up dying to a scatter blast, but he gets three kills on his way out for his team or at least assists in three. And they'll get a fourth with the brewmaster killing the Afu Grimstroke. Only Roger surviving for what? So just getting a little bit of a D ward battle and Roger Ripped up. He's tired. Charges there. There's the silence. Yeah, Tim's. He thought he could just go in and plant a cheeky aggressive observer ward, but Roger was there waiting for him. Gets a nice kill with the grip. Mid one's been cycloned up though, so they can just take this fight while ignoring the tiny. And I think that's exactly what Boom have in mind as they go in on the bane once again. Look to deal with the supports first. Now mid one, you can go on him next. The death prophet barely surviving on the back lines. Gets healed up by Jackie with the infest and raging potato. He's committed in deep. Has got a silver uh, shadow blade to try walk his way out of this one. Gets the cookie to the high ground. Well played by Moon and Raging Potato there to get him. Master wanting to protect that siege creep a little bit. Maybe force out a, a, a glyph here. Yeah, they, with the Ag Scepter, he will have that second primal split once he comes out. So I guess just feeling like he can run in and try cycling someone. Here you're not worried he's at all set up. about just, just jumps in and Roger's just instantly deleted. They may have dived in too deep. They're into the tier two towers here, taking a lot of damage, and Jackie's going to lose his first life. Yopaj is going to be a little bit careful. He's not done yet, though. He's diving further. Has those remnants that he's just constantly poking out, and mid one needs to get back to the safety of his fountain. He barely gets back to safety, and now they can, you know, now they can go for the racks. They dive tier fours. They dive through, and they force SMG into their fountain. So now they can, you know, get the objectives. Bane back in seven Still seconds, though, and they're going to. Yep, they charge in with the ink swell. They're going to go on scam. That's an easy first kill. The problem is, though, they've now got the cores to deal with. Jackie on his life sealer. Rage may be wearing off soon, but they've already killed off mid one, so Wait, toss. no Potato. tiny for this fight. Grip. They've got Yopaz, though. They've got the damage to kill him off here. They burned all his miner as well, so they do end up killing him off. But he buys back. He goes in with a remnant. He's not done. He knows this could be GG. And with the Yopaz buyback, SMG only have Moon left standing. Yopaj will make sure they finish it off. Ultra kill goes his way. He's wishing someone would buy back so we get the rampage, but this may just be the end here. As Boom Esports win a fight convincingly. Let that be a lesson to you, panel. Do not make that mistake. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Well, tier four is down. They're gonna buy back here. Bane up in three. Mid one's still dead for twelve. They're just looking to secure this series and force that grand finals rematch against T1. It's all over. GG's will come out as the throne goes down. SMG, we're hoping they might have one last hurrah, but Moon...